FeatureCam's 2.5D chamfer milling has now been extended to work with 3D chamfers. Utilising the edge curve of the chamfer location, the toolpath is created to produce complex chamfer shapes. This does not require the chamfer to be modelled in the part, and it can use ball end, bull end and tapered tools. In this example, we're going to create a chamfer on the top hole of this part. So first of all we want to generate a curve, so I'm going to create a surface edge curve, turn off my smoothing and select by double clicking this edge here to get the full root. I now have a curve on the top edge, go into the new feature, I'm going to create a chamfer, curve is selected, check the machin machining sign, we then check the box to say we want to do a 3D chamfer. Set my depth, in this case 2. And for this example, I'm going to leave the tip offset, but we can, if we want, some set the tip further down the chamfer if we want to. I'm going to go with the default tool selection for the time being. Hit finish. I'm going to go into the chamfer and just preview the toolpath. tool comes into position, follows the shape of that 3D curve, and retracts back. Let's verify that, just looking at the front of this part, and again, just highlighting, this is a 3D toolpath.